Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Complete Edition is out today for the Nintendo Switch. The game originally released for the PC and was designed to be used with the mouse and keyboard. The Nintendo Switch version has been updated and optimized for use with a controller. So here are just a few tips to help get you started. Click the right stick button to switch between a fixed and non-fixed crosshair. This is nice if you want to control the crosshair more like a mouse and get finer movement when placing objects or for selecting options within any of the menus. The Switch version of the game makes use of radial menus for easier navigation with a controller. The L and R buttons will let you select between the two different menus. The left menu will always be your main options for building rides, shops, sceneries, and more. Whereas the right menu will be where you can manage the various rides and shops after you've placed them. One thing to keep in mind is the left stick is used to navigate both menus. In the beginning I found myself wanting to use the right stick when in the right radial menu and the left stick when in the left menu. So just keep that in mind that the left stick always navigates both menus. I know this next one is a completely subjective preference, but if you're like me and you like the camera to move using typical airplane controls, meaning pushing forward makes the camera go down, pulling back makes the camera go up, then make sure you adjust the setting and invert the X and Y axes. This one is not super obvious where to find it, but at the top right of the options menu, is where you can get a quick view of all the button bindings. I found this useful, especially in my first few hours with the game, so I wanted to make sure I pointed it out for all of you guys. When you're in the menu, it's possible to be three or four levels into each menu, especially the left radial menu. To get back to the previous menu, hold L or R depending on the menu you're in and hit the B button. When in the right radial menu, you can do this until you have the object completely deselected. When placing objects, hold Y and use the left stick to raise and lower objects. For paths, shops, rides, and pretty much everything that isn't an animal enclosure, you can do this to easily raise or lower the object that you're trying to place. Most of the time, objects you're trying to place are not facing the direction you want when you select them. To rotate objects, hold Y and move the left stick left or right. Use this to easily rotate them around and face the direction you want. When building an enclosure, hold Y and drag to build an area for your enclosure. This is easier and quicker than placing each square individually, especially when building larger enclosures. You can delete your enclosures the same way. Just select the trash can and delete an area as needed. Pool rides such as water slides and the lazy river work a bit differently from regular rides. Where a regular ride will need an entrance and an exit so guests can enter them, guests can only access pool rides after entering a pool area via a changing room. You can then connect pool rides simply by using a pool tile or ramp piece. You can manage your different pool areas by selecting the changing room for each area. Then, using the right radial menu, you can manage your pool areas the same way you would any other ride or shop. So there are just a few tips to help get you started with the Nintendo Switch version of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Complete Edition. I hope you found this useful. If you'd like to see other tutorial videos, leave a comment below. And with that, I am 8BitJosh, and thanks for watching. See ya!